Hello there, this is Dave Allen, Wizard Gold, and what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look and see how we can get our data out of the iThoughts application on the iPad and get it into Scrivener. So here we are in the application on our iPad, and it's a nice fair-sized mind map that I've been working on here. And it's got some extra bits in there with some notes in the nodes. So I've done some writing actually within this here. So let's just open up one of these here and have a look at it. So for instance, this one here, we've got some text in there, some text in there. And as I say, you can do a whole lot of work within the application. And if you've got a note in there, we want those notes to be able to go into Scrivener as well. We don't want to lose those in the process. Let's just make some change to this first of all. So I'm going to take this node here and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to add a node to this one here. So let's just add something here. So I've added something in there, so we've just made some changes to it. Okay, so what I want to do now is we want to send this. So let's just take that there, go to the cloud, and we're going to tell it to start sync. So it checks for updates, and it does a bit of uploading. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Mac there, and on the Mac there, you can see it did a bit of uh, updating there. And I did that in real time. It happened really quickly, and it was fast indeed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in the iThoughts on my Mac, and here we have it. And as you can see, the changes that I made, so sending to Mac, that was a new node that just put in there, that is available in our mind map. And what we want to do now is we want to get this into Scrivener. And we're going to go to uh, export or share. So go to share. We want to share the whole map out. I'm going to share it using a mind map format, OPML. And I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. Don't forget that you can uh, find the documents a lot easier on your Mac if you use some of these uh, tags as well. So this is to do with writing. And I'm going to save that to the desktop. So I have that on the desktop now. Let's go into Scrivener and I'm going to tell it to do an import and go to files. And I want to look for this file on the desktop. Here it is, test map. Click on import. And as you can see, the map is now available in there. So as you can see, we've got send to Scrivener and send into Mac, those nodes that we just added there to our mind map. And we're going to go to anything that list can do, which is this one here, and get that to drop down, send to Scrivener. As you can see, that is the one that I just put in there recently. Okay, so the other thing we want to check as well is to make sure that the text that came in with the notes, so this one here, for instance, um, let's see this one here. We've got a lot of text in this one here. Best practice for organized text in a mind map, bring in text in from mind map. So this one here. And as you say, best practices for organizing the mind map. That text that we did the work on in our mind map has been brought into uh, iThoughtsX and then brought into Scrivener. That's how easy it is to bring your text from a mind map you've created on your iPad, bring it in through iThoughts on your Mac into Scrivener.